Okay, so welcome back. And in this video, we're going to start talking about angles. So we're going to talk about different types of angles, how do we draw angles, and the different terminology and concepts that come along with that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, is fill in all, uh, talk about all these things here. So we have this angle, right? And so we can label an angle using either numbers, we can label them using Greek letters, or just regular symbols, um, as, you, as you'll see, okay? So now, in this case here, there are a couple things to, to notice. So we have an angle, so these two rays, these two um, rays intersect at a common endpoint, which we call the vertex, and uh, this creates an angle. And the angle is the, basically the distance between the two rays, okay? And so in this case here, we have one, this is angle one, and this is what we call positive angle. Because, again, an angle always starts with an initial side, okay? So this would be the initial side. Usually it's um, uh, corresponds to the x-axis, okay? But not always, but usually it does. So this is called the initial side of the angle, and this is the terminal side, the ending side, right? So the terminal side is this one. And so the positive angle always goes in counterclockwise. So the counterclockwise direction is always the positive angle, okay? So angle one is a positive angle. Whereas if we go the other direction, go clockwise, from the initial side, so we go all the way around, angle two is called the negative angle, okay? Now, if we talk about <clears throat> different angles that measure the same angle, okay? We call those, those are coterminal, okay? Which means they end at the same spot, okay? Um, we'll talk more about coterminal in, in a little bit. But uh, what else do I want to say? Um, let's see, I mentioned vertex and... Okay, so let's look at some of the other angles that we can have. Okay, so now in the other picture there, we have other Greek letters that we can also use. Okay? So for example, we've got Theta. So this is the Greek letter theta, T-H-E-T-A, theta. And then we have the Greek letter here, uh, which is uh, psi. Okay? Or not psi, I'm sorry, phi. Okay? And then we've got alpha and beta. So all of these Greek letters are commonly used for... Um, Angles. Oh, one more thing. This vertex, we normally represent the vertex at, with a capital letter, like for example, capital A, okay? So we would represent the vertex with a capital letter, okay? So we could actually say uh, this is angle. Now, again, we wouldn't say angle A because we would need two other points, but that's why we usually put the symbol in between the two, or we have a circle with, uh, with an arrow, and we label that. So either we label here or here, but the vertex usually will want three points, okay? So this angle here is angle theta. Then we could say the angle from here to here is angle phi, and then of course from here all the way to this one would be angle alpha. And then of course we could go this way and represent Alpha, beta. Now, beta would be a negative angle, right? It's going the clockwise direction, whereas uh, angle alpha is the positive angle. But notice that angle alpha and angle beta are both coterminal, okay? Because they both measure the same angle, okay, in a sense, right? So, um, so what does it mean to be coterminal, okay? Angles that have the same initial and terminal sides. That's it. So alpha and beta both 
have the same initial and terminal sides. So they are coterminal angles. Okay? They both start and end at the same spot. Okay? Now, what else can I... Oh, um, so now, what about the angles? Okay, so, so remember, a little bit of review from chapter from uh, earlier videos. Okay? So what do we know? Well, we know that because of our discussion of degrees and radians, since, since um, they can be measured both, angles can be measured both in degrees and radians, let's do a little bit of review. So we know that 360 degrees is one revolution all the way around. So we can represent the degree, uh, the angles, as far as degrees, anything from zero to 360 degrees, right? Or we can go more than that or negative. Okay, so now, what, so we know that a degree, right? So a degree, and we just write it down. So a degree, right, is equal to 1 360th of a revolution around a circle, okay? Now, if I take the degree, right, if I take one degree and I take 1 60th of a degree, which means I take a degree and I split it up into 60 equal parts. That is equal to a minute. Now, if I take one minute and I take 1 60th of a minute, that equals one second. Okay, so now we've got some other things that we can do. So again, these are all measurements of the angles, right? So we've got degrees, and then within a degree, right, we can split it up into 60 equal parts, and each part is called a minute. And then we can take each one of those minutes, and we can split it up into 60 equal parts, and each one of those equal parts is called a second. Okay, so now we've got some conversion, some, some unit ratios that we can use to convert um, in me uh, measurements, basically to look at different measurements of angles using three different uh, units, okay? So, what else can I say about this? Um, that's it. Okay, so let's go and do some examples.